What is going on my broskies, my name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we have the playthrough video of the most recent treasure map against Frankie and uh, we just finished up a three hour stream utilizing all of the teams uh, that we built for it to build this treasure map and uh, it actually got through it pretty comfortably all the teams you guys would have seen in the my team preparation video most of them are the same I think I have made some very minor changes to the intrusion or the Hancock team you guys will see that throughout this little run through here um, but of course there's actually one team that got a lot of changes and we'll talk about that once we reach it but of course here we have the intrusion boss which is against Frankie which is typically what you're going to be encountering first Frankie has a lot of really nasty debuffs and you know one of the big things about this particular fight that is kind of annoying is the fact that uh, Frankie does have a really big death hit 100,000 damage is going to be dealt to your crew and the way that I'm personally getting around it is by using v2 brook support attached to Nami which allows us to block 60% of incoming damage for that one turn now one kind of uh, minor caveat to this actual fight is that we initially thought that on the defeat he was going to fully revive um, he does fully revive but he doesn't do anything he just runs away so you don't need Need two turns of burst you only need to burst him once and just tank that death hit in some capacity and then of course on battle three there's a lot of nasty debuffs but once again nami is going to be kind of good robin is especially very very good here one thing to note though is that you know because of battle two strength decks and quick slots are going to be badly matching for your crew so if frankie becomes a quick character your dex characters are not going to have a matching slot and the way that i'm personally getting around that is by using kids special ability which will change striker character slots into tandem which allows us to have matching slots also provides an attack boost as well but I mean Robin also does that and uh, luckily is uh, enough damage to get us through however later on down the line this team maybe needs a little bit of tweaking because um, if the if the Frankie ends up being int we don't really have a lot of damage output against that so it's a kind of a tricky fight and especially if you're free to play or a low spender in one piece treasure cruise this is definitely gonna be a really really tricky fight Here we are with the first of the Battle Rush bosses, which is against Carrot, and uh, as we kind of explained in my Treasure Map team building video, our teams are really focused on clearing with speed, and that's the way that we're doing that with the Zoro team. Of course, Zoro's super type special allows us to wave clear the first two stages, and we have a couple of really key support characters on our crew. We've got the Hancock, Nami, and Robin from the 8th Anniversary Sugo Fest attached to Bon Clay, which gives him a matching slot on Battle 2, and then we also have Brulee attached to Luffy to give him a matching slot on Battle 3, and then we have VV support attached to Sanji to give him a matching slot. So it's just all about you know getting matching slots without having to activate an additional special ability is really good now you'll see that i actually do use three specials on this stage but uh, in the early levels all i really need to do is activate the luffy special and then probably either one of either karen wanda and also sanji but as you see with the damage output that we have with all of these specials this is going to last a really long time a very fast team that outputs a lot of damage probably don't need to change this team throughout the entire duration of this treasure map So moving on to the secondary battle rush team and this is the one that saw a huge change from what we had previously um in my treasure map team building video i did actually have a team with cat viper as the captain but i opted for doflamingo instead because it allowed us to actually use point boosting characters and it has the same sort of speed that we would see from you know a cat viper team and it allows us to use the magellan and hannibal who is a relatively decently high point booster uh blackbeard is a decently high point booster and then luffy is here just because he allows doflamingo to activate his super class special which is very vital as we use the super class specials to wave clear the first two stages we have a full board of rainbow slots from shirohoshi's crew med effect sets them all to rainbow at the start of the quest which means that khalifa cannot give us poison slots or block slots which is fantastic we have the magellan and hannibal which gets rid of the barrier gets rid of the increased defense and also poisons the enemy and gives us a poison conditional boost so by poisoning it means we can get around the resilience and then doflamingo provides a two times attack and all boosting effect and then later on down the line we can activate a second doflamingo for chain boosting and base attack burst blackbeard can give a chain boundary this team is going to be great throughout the entire duration of the map
Moving on now to the third team, which is going to be against Nami. And of course, this is the team where they're really pushing you to use Black Maria because she has a paralysis reducing captain effect. She has a special ability that gets around the slots. She's an orb booster. She's a delayer, delayed conditional boost. Like, she's really good for this fight. However, there are two other characters you could really use for this fight. You could use Izo Endo Kiku, which gives you the ability to remove paralysis as a captain. And Trafalgar Law also removes paralysis as a captain. Now, another really good character for this fight is that uh, Arena X Drake. He he is so good because he removes damage immunity, he changes slots, and also gives you a um, chain locking effect, he gives you color affinity. Uh, of course, that is, you know, making sure that you do have uh, at least three or more quick characters on the team, and you're up against a strength boss, which you should be able to provide. So Drake is like the perfect character here, he helps so much, so we can use that. We can have law special ability activate to give us an attack and an orb boosting effect, we have chain lock, we have color affinity. This team's really strong, again, shouldn't have to change this throughout the entire entire duration of the map. And now we move on to the last of the Battle Rush bosses, which is against Nico Robin. And this is definitely the most difficult of the Battle Rush bosses because there is that stupid attack down depending on your chain multiplier. And if you have a chain that is 3.5 or less, meaning that if you actually activate a special that is a 3.5 chain lock, like Izo no Kika, for example, you're not going to be able to get past it. You actually need to exceed 3.5. And of course, with Izo no Kiku, if you use their special and then their super tight special, that will actually work because it makes the chain lock go higher. You could also use the brand new treasure map Frankie, and that along with Izo no Kiku can extend or and also enhance the, uh, the chain locking effect. This is really annoying because if you don't have Who's Who, this fight in particular is a lot more difficult. There's Bind Despair, uh, Rainbow Shield on the enemy side of the field, regular attack down as well. Nico Robin is a really annoying fight, and I think later on in this treasure map, this team may need some tweaking. We have an orb boost and a really good color affinity effect with this crew, but outside of that, I'm not really too confident in this team lasting throughout the entire duration of the map, but we'll see how things go. It does do a lot of damage initially, so we'll have to wait and see, but it's decent for now. And then, of course, we actually have the final boss versus Boa Hancock, and we're running a pretty much the same team as we did against the Intrusion fight, with some slight changes to the supports. Um, instead of using Brook and uh, the, the Sanji effect to get a, another recovery slot and stuff, we're not doing that this time around. We're just running uh, Doflamingo on Kid for chain boosting, I believe, and we are using a VV support. Now, the VV support that we're using is attached to Nami, and it means that when we use her special, it's going to give our Free Spirit characters a one point three times color affinity boost which in this case is really only going to be used for the two Namis themselves as they are both free spirit characters and uh, for this last stage I mean we have so much damage output this team is not going to need any tweaks um, oddly enough we actually get more damage output against the intrusion fight in comparison to what we get here so yeah against this fight here with Boa Hancock this team is not going to need any changes or additions but the intrusion fight as things progress may need to be tweaked but uh, overall, a pretty comfortable set of teams for the treasure map, of course. And I know not everyone is going to be able to build these teams, of course. That's not the purpose of the video. Just wanted to show you guys a playthrough just to give you guys a bit of a rundown as to what you should be expecting in this treasure map, of course. But that is going to wrap up this video today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. I wish you guys the best of luck in your treasure map farming. Hopefully, you're able to get some good rewards from those legend tickets. And uh, hopefully, you can get to a secure rank to rank up to the next rank in treasure map, whether that be to the Grand Line or hopefully to New World. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.